welcome back to my channel today i'm making an abstract painting i'm just putting some colors on it and let's see if something will pop up in my mind to make a composition i just had my palette from my color paints creating some contrast and uh, i thought i want uh, i want to blend the colors a bit more i just play around a bit and need to start somewhere right when the creating a painting especially with abstract because you don't have a clear plan in the beginning probably i'm mixing different colors to get the uh, shading uh, yellow and orange in uh, larger proportions because it will give my painting a brighter look Now I'm using paper tape for some white in the middle to create a sort of light source. Doing the process again and again to make these lines with different color shades. Now I'm drawing some paints onto the paintings to give it a more abstract look. I'm drawing um, white, black and yellow droplets onto the painting. Let's draw the face. When we paint something, we're actually doing three things at a time. We're capturing proportions, capturing values, capturing colors. So I'm transferring the sketch onto the canvas using HP pencil. I start with the drawing and then move towards paint. The simplest, fastest and most straightforward method is in which uh, in which you start with something of drawing or outline and then continue to focus on the painting proportions. I usually start with most basic shapes and form and leaves all the details later in the process. Focusing on the most complex areas and painting details are not the same things. First, focus on the complex areas and then on the other proportions like eyes, nose, and lips. Now I am filling out the rest of the face. I'm not here focusing on accuracy. Brushwork painting skin tone is more important than accuracy, I think. Moving towards the lips, I'm using here red and black, and I'm mixing it together to make it somewhat maroon color and shading it. I'm using hand to blend this because to merge it properly I'm using a white shade to highlight it now I'm shading the chin and the rest of the face And the finishing touch I think nose is not looking that perfect so, so that's why I'm using different colors to shade it and made it, make it more realistic <sighs> moving towards the eye now I am I'm dropping some paints from the above yellow, black, and maroon. Shading the lens and the eyeball and hence the final look. 
hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to like comment and share see you in the next video bye bye